Thank you for stopping by Blissing Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making a Jamaican inspired burger. I'm calling it the Kingston Bacon Cheeseburger. Let's get going. So this is going to be yet another cook on the Fireside Grill by Sentara Pro. Again, it's Jamaican influenced and it stems from a request I had to do a burger that has a sauce that contains scotch bonnet peppers. We don't have scotch bonnet peppers out here, so I'm using the next best thing, which is the habanero pepper. High on the Scoville scale, so it's got some heat to it. We're gonna kick this off by making a um, jerk sauce, a Jamaican jerk sauce. Uh, actually, it's more of a paste, and I got this recipe off of uh, jamaican.com, and I just sort of cut it down for this uh, particular recipe, but I'm also going to be putting a little twist on it and making a burger sauce utilizing the paste. So let's get going on that. So it is kind of a strange work surface to be doing this type of work that I'm going to be doing now on. But to be honest with you, you know, it's, it's late. It's almost eight o'clock and I just didn't want to have to set up a table and move things around. So we're going to do it all here on the shelves on this, uh, the grill. So in the blender, we're gonna add one quarter cup of allspice berries. And in Jamaica, they call this pimento, and they also do a lot of their cooking on the pimento wood. So when I'm doing a smoke or a, like a Jamaican jerk chicken recipe, I actually like to throw a handful of those uh, allspice berries in there. Four cloves of garlic. So with all the craziness that's going on right now, people are freaking out and buying probably more than they need of, of a lot of things. At my store, if you want baking supplies, like you know flour, ingredients for baking, sugar, it's all gone. There's nothing there. So I'm using uh, Mexican sugar. It's a, it's a raw sugar called piloncillo, and it's just raw sugar in its purest form, and it, they shape it into a cone. So I, I was kind of thinking about this, and it may actually be actually more accurate than using our brown sugar. So I have a quarter cup. And I have here one and a half teaspoons of dry thyme, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I have here three habanero peppers. I took the seeds and the pith out and two green onions that I just chopped in half roughly. One and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. Toss in a little bit of salt little bit of ground black pepper. We'll fire this thing up. All right, we are done with this. So I have here some mayo and I am going to add a little bit of this jerk paste to the mayo. That's going to be our burger sauce. There we are. So as that burger cooks, this will be melding and getting really, really good. So I have here four slices of bacon. Of course, Jamaican jerk pork is killer. And we're going to apply this jerk paste to the bacon. Just gonna get it all mixed up here, incorporated. Normally, you know, I'd wanna let this kind of set around and kind of marinate, I guess, for 30 minutes or so, but I don't have that much time. So just telling you that's what I would do normally. This smells so good though, wow. So I'm kind of sticking with the tradition of Jamaican jerk, what I'm gonna do is start off with this on the uh, open grill here. Get mayo on my shirt. Get 
Millions down. A little bit of oil here. There's some plantains down. Salt on a plantain. I'm going to smash these plantains a little bit. So tonight I'm actually cooking three hamburgers. One is for me, and one is for my wife, and one is for my kid. And of course they just want simple plain old burgers. They don't want anything fancy smashy. So I have 80-20 beef here, and each patty weighs about five and three quarter ounces. So just under six ounces. Pretty big burgers. Have some really nice fresh baked rolls here. Use the old butter machine. <laughs> Let me get this over here. Get the plantains off and put them on the just the warm side. These are looking good. Get them over to the warm side. Jeez, this is pepper jack. All right, looking good. As you know, some burgers are missing. It's because my wife and kid are eating right now. Check that out. Gorgeous toast. So it's time to build this burger. We're going to put some veg on here, some green leaf lettuce. Mainly because I think green leaf lettuce is pretty sexy. It's nice shaped leaves. I don't know. <laughs> That melty burger patty down. Gorgeous. I'm going to get this top bun done, ready with the this jerk mayo. So I have bacon. I went ahead and just broke a couple pieces in half. This bacon is just nice and sticky on that sauce. Nice. Onions, fried plantain, another fried plantain. Then we'll crown this Kingston burger, man. I've said it before, this is a sexy burger. Juicy. Hmm. There's just something about allspice that I really love, but you know, that nutmeg and the cinnamon, sweet, but then there's that heat, not too much. I'm very, very happy with this. I'm gonna eat all of it. Wow. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by as usual. If you are not subbed, please do so. It's free. If you are subbed, bing, hit that bell. If you like the video, thumb it up. If you don't, thumb it down, and I suggest twice. That way I'll know. I'll know you don't like it. <laughs> Keep those suggestions coming in. Uh, you can actually email suggestions to ballisticrequests at cox.net. That's the best way. Um, making a request in the comments, you run the risk of me not seeing it because you, you figure I've got a lot of videos and a lot of comments come in daily and I just can't read every comment. If I get an email, it actually goes into a file, into a folder, and I look at them and I kind of grab one that just inspires me. And um, just because 
it gets sent to me doesn't mean that the next day I'm going to make a video. So I ask, please be patient. But, uh, you know, I love doing these requested burgers and this burger I'm very happy with. And this video you're watching right now, this burger has become right now it's way up there. I mean, it may be my favorite burger right now. So this is going to I'm actually writing a burger book and this is going in the book. So I received a request on my last in the comments um, to at least mention the beers I'm drinking. And, and I'm no connoisseur of beers. I, I like kind of I lean towards the crafty kind of beers. Someone's got a crotch rocket. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, Figueroa Mountain. And this is a it's called a Davy Brown. It's in, I don't even know where it's from, but it's good. really good it's a good I, I have what I call grilling beers and that's what this is it's it's got you know enough body to know that you know, you're drinking a really good crafty beer and yet it's refreshing so see you in the next video cheers